All right, welcome back to Conscious Evolution. I'm AJ. Thanks for joining me here today, guys. I uh, appreciate you. Really do. I haven't made a video all week, you know, since uh, Monday. I made a video since Monday when I made that video with Bonesy. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think it was a really good video. We were just sitting out in the woods. We found a beautiful place, and it was just amazing like it really was beautiful i have so many pictures that i want to go through i uh, i went through a lot of them yesterday anyways that's not what i want to talk about so i was I've, I've been wanting to record a video since well tuesday i i got a new phone and it's got a pretty badass camera on it and i've been wanting to do it but i was like i didn't want to just put out a a, a pointless video just to record it to see what it looked like you know what I mean so I, I I've been putting it off and I didn't feel inspired to do it but now I feel inspired and I want to do a video and I want to talk to you guys I miss you guys how's everybody been doing it's been an interesting week for me I've been super busy I've been all over the place as you know I was with Bonesy and uh he's not exactly uh my neighbor <laughs> um so i uh i traveled a little bit and learned some some really exciting things but i wanted to talk about what i've been going through you know that's what i do i share my experience with you guys and you know i know i'm not the only one experiencing the things that i experience we're all going through this ascension we are all experiencing great change in our lives whether it's in our lives in our bodies in our thoughts in our perceptions everything is changing <sighs> let's get serious last week last two weeks you know i uh i as well as other people i know and communicate with have been going through some things i experienced doubt fear and and just a lot of doubt you know like i was really doubting myself doubting what i speak of doubting the content that i put out and I don't normally do that. It's like the second that I allowed that little speck of doubt or fear in, I opened the floodgates. And it was just like, <clears throat> like it was raining and storming and, and, and just fear and doubt was everywhere. You know, like, wow. And it took me days to shake it. It took me two seconds what took me two seconds to open up and allow in is you know everything's energy and you're allowing those energy those those energetic forms to to penetrate your mind to to get in there and they plant seeds to where it's going to create more fear down the road so two seconds and it took me days to get rid of that to, to get back onto a, a mindset and to do damage control from the people that I hurt with the words that I spoke. Because the words that I spoke weren't mine. It wasn't how I was feeling. You know? It was these these thoughts. These thought forms. These, these, this, this collective that you're tapping into or always tapped into the collective, guys. So some thoughts may not even be your own so you really got to pay attention you really have to hold every thought captive if you want to continue down this road and to make your life a little easier you know it's everything is about your perception how you perceive things is how you're gonna shape your reality the goal is to program your subconscious to perceive things as heaven on earth with everything. And I mean everything. If you can program your mind to, your, your subconscious mind to, to, to fault, to, to resort back to that programming, which is 
Bliss Town. We'll call it Bliss Town. Because I, I love that word. And someone very close to me coined that word. So thank you. You know who you are. So we're going to create this Bliss Town. And it's beautiful. It's heavenly. You know, it's everything you could ever want in your life. Everything that you do once you already have, you just gotta, you, you just transform your thoughts, transform your mind, transform your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind is operating 90 some percent of the time. Because we're just kind of like on pilot, you know, autopilot. Like our conscious mind is, is, is really like, 10% of your day, you're in your conscious mind. Everything else is subconscious programming. So however that programming is, is what you're going to experience. If your programming is fear, you're going to experience fear. If your program is being scared, then you're going to be scared. Your natural reaction to things is going to be fear. If you live that programming. It's it's very much like a computer. Whatever program that you have downloaded into your mind, however that program is written, which is how you perceive things, is going to be what you experience in your daily life. In your everyday life when you're doing whatever. That's what you're going to experience. I am programming my mind to experience bliss town all the time. So when my conscious mind shuts down and goes on autopilot, my subconscious mind takes over. I want that to be the same thoughts and beliefs that I have with my conscious mind. And I work exhaustively at that. Like, is I don't even know if that's a word. I really, like, that's what I dedicate my life to doing. Is programming my subconscious because that's creating my reality. That's programming the world that I want to live in, that I want to experience, and I want Bliss Town. Always. You know? I mean, what if I just told you, if you changed the way you perceive things, if you changed your beliefs to match what you consciously want, that you will subconsciously create and maintain all those things, wouldn't you wouldn't you want to do it, maybe? Maybe give it a shot? I would. I am. It sounds amazing to me. Amazing. <laughs> so. My beautiful reflections. Have you been experiencing any doubts and fears lately? I know with this last full moon cycle, I really was... I was feeling it, you know. I had experienced my doubts and fears and, and and you know, the things I thought I had healed from had triggered me and set me off onto a energetic rampage. You know, I was really spotty with my energy there for a while. And I really, you know, when things like that happen, it's a good thing because it's, it's making you aware of what you need to heal from, that what you still need to work on. Should you choose, you have free will. You can go any way you want to go. You can continue to experience those things. But for me, I don't want to continue experiencing those things. I want them to no longer affect me. So after the full moon, you know, this past week has been a week of reflection. You know, a week of, 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 of learning, you know, uh, I guess reflection is a good word, you know, reflecting on all the lessons that you just learned of all the things and the experiences you just had, which are your lessons, you know, anything that's, that's unpleasant for you, anything that's triggering you is going, it's happening because it's something you're meant to learn from. That's something your higher self your guides have set into motion for you to experience. Also, if you're experiencing something like this happened to, um, you know, the someone that's close to me, they they had an experience this week where a friend that they were talking to 
was like regurgitating all this fear and doubt, like like projecting all their fears and in in beliefs onto this person. So when that happens, it's it's kind of a twofold thing. It's partly that person. This is my belief of it. It's partly that person trying to force their box of beliefs onto you because you are outside their box of beliefs. They want to, they want to make sure you know that they think you're a little off your rocker or something like they, they like they want to put you in that box, you know, don't let them put you in that box, but because you don't fit in that box, they think that they have your best interests in heart. They think that they're helping you by trying to put you in their box because that's what they understand. They don't understand when you go out. You can't put me in a box. I'm not going to fit in your box. So if they're trying to put you in their box, they're trying to they're trying to put you in their box of beliefs. You know, because you don't fit inside their box of beliefs. They see that as fear. You know, they're scared for you that they're trying to help you that they have your best interests at heart they really want you to be happy which is like a disguise statement like like i really want you to be happy but you have to do this 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 and this to be happy in my eyes you know what i mean like that's a disguised statement anyways moving on so that's part of it. That's part of it. The person, you know, putting you in their box. You don't fit in their box, so they don't understand. And they feel like they're that they need to help you because they don't understand. Now, this is, I believe, was pretty much a non-awakened person talking to a very awakened soul. Okay. Also, the next thing, what I think it is, and this is what I told the person, that, that they... So everyone's like a reflection of, of your true self, your inner self. You know, you're creating that person that you're talking to. Not literally, but the your thoughts, your actions, your words are going to create the behavior of that person sitting across from you. They're reflecting you. So in a sense, I told this person that I think that your friend was just reflecting the doubts that you had about this situation. And it's like a two part thing. So they're reflecting your doubts, but they're also trying to put you in their box. If that makes sense, because that's a box that you shared with that person at one point in time. And when you knock the walls of your box down, they built theirs up a little higher. You know, they didn't, they didn't, they're not on the same path. Like there's like, there's very, few people that I can talk to about these things that I talk about because not many people are on the same path as me you know not everyone's growing at the same rate that I am and I yeah so so that's it that's what I wanted to say is about the doubts the fears and you know people saying these things I want to put you in their box and you just gotta let them know that you don't fit in their box of beliefs and you know, don't do it in a mean way. You just stay, you keep calm. You know, you keep reserved. You just smile. You hear them out because you feel that they're deeply concerned. And I think they, they think that they're actually concerned. But really what they're doing is just putting you down. So you're you're listening to, to those words and those words are, are going into your mind, into your subconscious mind. Everything you see is programmed into your mind so you can't unsee it. Even if you don't consciously remember it, it's there. Your entire life is programmed on your subconscious. Everything. So even though it doesn't affect you, when you hear this and it's like someone's berating you that you're 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 going too far you're stepping this is too fast you're doing you're doing something that i don't agree with you're 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 you're, you're like that's not right you can't do that well don't 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 say that to somebody don't tell me i can't do something if you tell me i can't do it that makes me want to do it even more first of all um but don't don't try to limit me with your beliefs you know you don't don't do that to people you either support them or you don't. 
And if you don't, you really don't need to tell you. You don't need to say anything about it. Remember when you're young, your parents say, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything. That kind of applies. Unless someone's crossing your boundaries and you don't have to say that in a, in a mean way. You can just be very firm and direct with that individual and say, this is the line and please don't cross it. Anyways, so yeah, the full moon after that was a time of reflection. And I feel like this week was that for me and a lot of people, you know, all these experiences that you had leading up to the full moon, you know, I don't, I don't require a storm in my life anymore. And I kind of had a little one when I went to Long Beach, honestly, that was a self created oh well, all the storms are self-created but that was like really self sabotaging self-creating but you know I've, I've since learned from that and now I feel a little calmer I feel a little calmer about everything like I feel like no matter what happens right now I can truly keep my calm and I just have inner peace, you know, and I went through some kind of stressful situations this week with what I was doing and it still didn't really affect me, you know, just do it, don't think about it, don't be scared about what's going to happen, don't have any expectations on the outcome, just do it, and don't worry about what other people say, you don't need to listen to other people, you know the answers. You know what's right for you. You know You know the answers. You know what's right for you. Everything is inside of you. Everything's already written on your DNA. You don't need approval from other people. And if you're still watching the news, I, I, I strongly urge you to stop because it's not helping you. Everything you see enters your subconscious mind and is recorded. So the more junk you feed your subconscious mind, whether you're paying attention to it or not, it has an effect on your programming. You want to get out of this old energy programming. You want to be more present in your life. You know, you want to live more in the now. When you're when you're stressing or worrying or thinking like that in general at all about about anything, you're not living your now moment. You're worrying and stressing about something that has yet to happen, about something in the future, or something you're worried or stressed about doing or something that you know, if you're worried or stressed about going somewhere because you don't want to go, then don't go. You don't have to do it, okay? Um, but when you worry, when you when you worry and stress about these things, about anything, ask yourself a few questions like, is there anything you can do about whatever you're worrying about right now? Is there anything you can do to change it, to fix it, to help it right now? If there is, then do it. If not, stop worrying about it. If there's something you can't change, then stop worrying about it. You have a divine plan. And there's divine timing with everything. Trust that. Believe that. It is absolutely the case. You have a team. You have an entourage of support around you. Now, you might not be able to see them. Because we can only perceive like a, a very small fraction of what actually exists in our space. What we see is this physical reality. But you're surrounded by beautiful beings. And if you calm yourself, you quiet your mind, you can feel them. You can talk to them. You can ask them for guidance. I feel them every single day. I feel like I'm surrounded by angels. I feel like I feel like if I need to feel that love that 
they are there immediately and I feel like I get an energetic hug. It's really beautiful. It really is. Now, another crazy thing, talking about these invisible forces that are surrounding us right now. Um, they're everywhere, guys. I mean, literally, they're everywhere. So, if you're not aware of it, I mean, everyone thinks they have a guardian angel, you know? Everyone thinks they have spirit guides or something to that effect. Talk to them. Talk to, to your guides. Ask questions. If you don't believe it, sit down and say, you know, show me that this is real. Show me a sign. Something. <laughs> In this energy now, they will acknowledge or or show you a sign or you'll they'll put a synchronicity in your in in your face you know where you'll see it <laughs> it will be confirmed for you and it'll be confirmed more than once in most cases usually with me i get three confirmations for everything if i was doubting on anything if i had a question about anything i will get three confirmations for whatever that is and it'll be different ones, synchronicities, or I'll see it over here, or I'll see someone that, you know, like whatever it is. I don't not get into specifics right now. But that's you know, you just you really gotta trust yourself. Trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling, because that is not gonna lead you astray. If it doesn't feel right to you, then it's probably not right for you at this time. If it does feel right, if it is resonating, if it does give you the warm and fuzzies, then trust that it's real and continue on, you know? My first experience happened when, that I, you know, remember, anyways, uh, in my recent adult life, I have experiences as a child where I had a lot of interesting things happen with what I thought were ghosts at the time. And then I was later convinced that they were demons. And I've since come to reflect on that and realize that they were most likely my guides. My, my family from the other side of the veil that's communicating with me, that's been with me my entire life, as with you. You've had them your entire life. They're always there. You know, you see orbs in my videos. I have a lot of videos with orbs that just come floating around. Those, those are my guys. That's my family. That's my support system from the other side of the veil, behind the veil. You know, it's... It's a beautiful thing. And in this day and age, most of you, or most, not most of you, I'm sorry. In this, in this day and age, there's a lot of old energy that's, that's teaching you still that that's bad, that that's a demon, that these, like, uh, you can think of it however you want. If you want to think of it as a demon and angels, or if you want to think about it as guides and, and uh, entities, you know, lower vibrational entities and higher vibrational entities or benevolent beings and not so benevolent. However you want to do it. I mean, there's 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 multitudes of ways you can think about them, but it's all about energy. Yes, there are lower vibrational energy forms that will attach to you and feed off of you if you allow it. So that's like the second you allow that little bit of doubt to enter your mind there's a thousand thought forms sitting in the corner just waiting for you to open that door and they're like <laughs> you know they're gonna attach on and you're gonna expend all that energy and they're gotta they got a buffet I'm giving them a nice nice meal and that's why you feel so depleted afterwards when you expend all that hatred and anger and fear you're just depleted afterwards and that's why that's like the um, the dark night of the soul you go through this and you, you spend all this this time and energy and at the end of it you're just like Bleh. just sucked all the energy out of you you could be happy and in love and joy for your entire life you know and you will never get tired from being too happy when i'm happy and in the love space and in the joy like 
it doesn't wear you out is what I'm saying. I'm not, I don't mean you won't get tired. It doesn't wear you out. Being happy doesn't wear you out. Being in love doesn't wear you out. Well, I mean, some people would differ from that. But, uh, but I'm saying, like, when you love yourself, when you're in that love space, that open heart space, you, you, don't, you don't give away your energy. You attract more of that love. You attract more of that energy. And it's just revitalizing. Like, you actually seem to get younger. It's quite amazing. So don't buy into the bullshit. That's what I wrote down. That's one thing I wrote down. Don't buy into the bullshit. Don't, don't entertain the drama. Don't be a part of the gossip. Don't do. Just don't do it. Everything you say. Everything is energy. Every word is an energy. Think of every word you speak as an energy form that you just created. Because when you speak it, you're creating it. You're breathing life to it. You're going to attract that. You know, the universe is listening to everything you say. So you're creating an order. And what you speak is what you're ordering for your future. So think about that. And that's why I say hold every thought captive. Really do that internal work. Really really reflect on what you want you know figure out what you want out of your life do you want to keep going through the same loop over and over again hmm? because you don't have to you're going through that loop you're doing you're living the same experiences over and over again because you haven't learned the lesson you were meant to learn out of that i did it i'm not judging you for going through it i understand it I've lived it over and over and over again. So I'm not judging you. And I understand that it's not as easy as, you know, just saying it. I get it. I've lived this. I do this. This is my life. I had to make some very tough decisions to be where I'm at right now. But I'm a lot happier. And I, I really love myself. I know that I am enough just the way I am. You are enough just the way you are. You don't need to change. You don't need to do anything to be better. You're enough. You are enough just the way you are. Love yourself. You really got to love yourself. And if you don't know what love is, then I would work on that. Because it's kind of a big deal. You know, there's so many, uh, everyone wants love. Everyone wants to love, wants to be loved. And you deserve it. You deserve to be loved. But are, are, are you really being loved in your current situation? The people surrounding you, do they serve your highest good? I think that's what this energy is all about right now. To purge those people, those energies that are no longer serving your highest good. If they, if, if the people surrounding you are no longer serving or they don't, they don't support you in what you truly want out of life. If they're holding you back in any way, shape or form. Or if you're holding yourself back because they don't agree with what you want to do. You know, well, that's the same thing. They're holding you back. Then then release that to the universe and let it go. The, when, when you love yourself and when you start putting that vibration out to the universe, you will, you will, the universe will put that same vibration. You know, you will attract that same vibration in someone else. But whatever vibration that you're resonating at is what the universe is going to give you they're going to bring people into your life that are a vibrational match for you now that's perfect so if you're living with people that are not a vibrational match for you then let that go let it go on you know what no i'm not telling you to let people go you make up your own mind don't hang on my words because I did that in the beginning. I hung on people's words and I wanted them to tell me what to do. That's not what this is about. This is about self-empowerment. Do the internal work. It's an inside job. 
learn what you want. Figure it out. Not learn. You know what you want. Figure out how to get what you want. And put that out to the universe. You know? Release the people that aren't serving you. That don't want out of this life. And when you change your perceptions. When you change how you see things. Your reality will change to reflect your new beliefs. Which is quite amazing. I can say that confidently because I've experienced it and am experiencing I mean, look, look, I got a whole whiteboard full of affirmations and things that I believe. Those are my beliefs now. And that's me affirming it to myself every day. And I can change them. If one doesn't suit my beliefs anymore, I erase it and put a new one in. And my reality starts to reflect that. You got to keep doing it. It's not going to happen overnight. Just keep doing it. Create a practice. Do some meditations. If you're not already into the meditations. Even if your mind wanders all the time. That's, that's how I am. My mind's always going. Well now it's, it's getting a lot better. But do guided meditations. I have like 40 some guided meditations on my playlist. Under guided meditations. Check them out. I've done every single one of them. Most of them multiple times. So I like them. So give them a shot. <sighs> There's a few other things I wanted to talk about, but I think this video is good. I think we're good now. I love you guys. I really hope you got something out of this video. I really do. I missed you guys. I'm glad to, to be back in front of the, the camera. Also, I haven't said anything about it. Africa and I do group healing sessions every Sunday. So if you're interested in participating in that, just donate $33 to the PayPal link below. Alright guys, I, I, really, I really do love you guys. I love each and every one of you. Thank you all for all your comments. Thank you for all the new subscribers. You know, everything's about divine timing. It really is really is oh that was the other thing you know what nope i'll save that for the next video i love each and every one of you be the change that you want to see in this world and bye bye